YouTube, what's going on YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, Deirdre Alex Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. Smell good family. Hopefully everyone is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know how we rocking here, man, on this channel. Positive vibes only. That's it. So I truly hope everyone is doing well. All right. So, um, hype. What is hype? How do you associate uh, the word hype, your definition or whatever? So this video is about fragrances that I feel need more hype. All right. So I saw this topic floating around uh, in Fragcom and I want to, you know, throw my own spin on it, shoot my own takes at it because these seven fragrances that we're going to talk about today, yeah, they've been talked about. Yeah, you've seen them in videos, but we know what hype is. Hype is something that is almost an unbearable experience <laughs> because everybody is saying this is thing. This particular thing is so great. Now, sometimes it's true. Versus Vanilla Ooh, hype was real and it was true. But I also experienced other fragrances in my time where the hype was through the roof and I get my nose on and I'm kind of like, eh, eh. All right, but today, in my opinion, with my experience, uh, with these fragrances, man, I believe they deserve a little bit more hype, a little bit more conversation, and at least, at least a sample to see what they're all about. So we'll see if you guys agree or disagree. Let's get into it. Let's jump into it. All right. Up first, um, I've this fragrance is a gentleman and masculine staple now in my collection. I'm super, super happy to have this. It was out of stock for a good bit, but it is now back in stock. So if you're interested, you might want to take a look. What am I talking about? From the house of Zaharoff, all right? We have Signature Royale Triple X. Signature Royale Triple X. Man, this stuff is awesome. A masculine gentleman's elixir. <laughs> Juniper berries, spices, leathers, ouds. Oh, there's a little earthy vibe to it, man. There's a slight sweetness to this as well, but this is no games, Jose. <laughs> it's no games, Holmes. This is no games, buddy roll. Whatever you want to no games, absolutely none. That's what this is. And I feel like the conversation for my gentlemen out there and my guys who dress uh, up to par every single day and the feel that you may be working in or what you do in your spare time or your businesses Whatever you're looking for something that is sharp straight down the line. There's mysteriousness There is a sense of man like Who's that guy? All right, that's what this fragrance definitely uh, Has meant to me. All right, and I feel like a lot of more guys and I know it's been out for a little while now, but this is a fragrance that I feel the conversation should, should just constantly keep going. I've used the term, take your deal on 2020, the EDT. And if it was a, anything, um, as any such thing as a more niche -er upscale to that DNA, then this will be it. That's just a way that I can, the best way I can describe it currently, but this is something that deserves more hype from the house of Zaharoff. We have Signature Royale, Triple X. Triple X, get that in focus. Triple X. In the back of the bottle, you have the three X's. This was collaborated with uh, uh, Joey Cannoli and uh, Zaharoff, man. So it's a great fragrance. It's back in stock as well. All right, up next, you've seen conversations about this fragrance here on this channel and other channels, but a consistent hype about it? Mm mm. But I think it deserves it. I do. From the house of Mansara. All right, we have Aqua Wood. Uncle Wood has been one of those fragrances that have, have gotten conversation. People are curious about it, but not enough people pull the trigger, all right? Pull the trigger. I love this stuff. In the springtime and in the summertime, this gets that work, man. A lot of different elements with this fragrance, man. You get this, uh, you get spices here. There's a floral presence, um, a rose fragrance that really, a rose note that really sticks out on my skin. There's an aquatic, salty, aquatic type of feel with this fragrance, at least to my nose. Man, it's so good, man. There's like a, a, a an ambery sweetness in this thing as well as this thing starts to really dry down and get settled in but it's one of those profiles man that you don't smell every day you don't smell every day so if you're looking for something different especially during the warmer weather this is something that you should look into or at least sample and it's also one of those dna's that i think 
if you like the Aqua Dijon, and this don't smell nothing like Aqua Dijon, but if you like the Aqua Dijon line, fragrances like this and Black Gold, they kind of put me in the mindset once again of what if Aqua Dijon, you know, what if that DNA or that idea that they had was upscaled to a niche level? This is one of those ones that could fit that description, okay? So a lot going on with this fragrance. I thoroughly enjoyed it. As you can see, most of these bottles are gonna have significant dents in them. I've had this for a couple of years. And uh, from a guy who has a bunch of fragrances, this is a sizable dent for sure, but this deserves a little bit more hype. Try it out if you have not. Looking for something different during the warmer weather, try it out. From the house of Mancera, we have Aqua Wood. There's a lot of Mancera top 10 lists and all this stuff like that, but you never really see Aqua Wood discussed. All right, up next, you've definitely heard of this uh, fragrance, but this particular concentration doesn't get any love. From the house of Narcisco Rodriguez, we have for him, Blue Noir. EDT, the EDT, the EDT don't get no love. The EDP and the Parfum get all the love, and I understand that. But this is the freshest of the freshest take from the EDP. This is bright. The, the, the vetiver here is a, a very soapy. The, uh, uh, it's a flattering, uh, woodsy touch to this fragrance as well. The amber in here comes off really wholesome and it blends really, really well with how bright uh, this fragrance is for sure. Very fresh, very clean, just all around great, great, great. So if you're into for him, Blue Noir, the EDP, but you don't want to wear, you want to wear it in the summer, but you're a little cautious because of what that, uh, that vetiver and the woods and the spices could really do. Could you come off cloying? Don't fear. Look into the EDT. The EDT is a fresher take on that DNA and during the springtime and during the summertime, I'm wearing this. Just like in the fall time and in the winter time, I'm wearing the EDP. So I love the DNA, so I'm wearing it year round. I definitely uh, think this deserves a little bit more hype, especially if you love this style of a DNA, but you're a little afraid to wear it during the heat. Look at this one, man. Very versatile for the warmer months for sure. From the house of Narcisco Rodriguez, we have for him Blue Noir, the EDT. The EDT, big fan of this stuff, man. This stuff is really, really good, really, really good. All right, up next, absolutely nobody talks about this fragrance. I've probably seen one or two reviews about this fragrance. I've never seen it in anybody's, well, I have seen it on a couple guys, one or two top tens or countdowns or whatever in particular about fragrance, but this stuff is fire. From the house of Hugo Boss, from the scent line, we have Hugo Boss the Scents Lay Parfum. Now this one, I believe it could be discontinued, and that's a shame if it is, because it came out in 2022, but I never see it. I don't see it nowhere. Take care of the scent DNA. That Manika fruit is present. It is sweet. It is sexy. It is scrumptious. That's what that Manika fruit is. But then you get some ginger in here. You get your lavender in here, but then you get this beautiful iris note, and I am a huge fan of iris. This gives it a little bit more body to it, man. You get that, um, it's a quality iris in here as well, man. Not quite the makeup baggy, you know, lipsticky type of vibe to it, but it's a more powdery style of an iris, man. And it's really, really good. It fits with that ginger and that lavender in here for sure. And that Manika fruit and the iris is a great combination. <laughs> it's a great combination. This stuff is fire and no one talks about it. Why? I'm guilty, I haven't even talked about it as of late, but I'm gonna be uh, throwing this into the rotation, wearing it before the weather warms up because this is good. I wore this a few times last year, and as you can see, the bottle has a little dent. Maybe you can see it. I got this um, at the end of 2022, so I've had this for a little over a year, but when I wore it, those few times that I did, man, early 2023, late 2022, I got a lot of compliments. It's really, really good, but no one talks about it. If it's discontinued, I'm sorry for even talking about it, but if you can find it and you love Iris and you love the scent DNA, look into it from the House of Hugo Boss. We have the Scents Lay Parfum. No one talks about this, definitely deserves more hype. All right, up next, you've seen this bottle, you've seen conversations about this, but this doesn't get the hype. This one doesn't get the love like that. 
There's others in this line that do, and I get it, but let's talk about this one. From the House of Gardan, we have Lom Arial El Intense. Now, in my opinion, you've seen this on my channel quite a bit and look at that bottle. Now, the EDP gets all the love, rightfully so. Rightfully so. It gets all the love. I, I love it. It's great. But this rivals the EDP for me. Some days I go back and forth like, whoa, do we need to have a conversation about L Intense versus the EDP? Do we? Some days it's like that. But I like this more than another one in the line that's super, super popular and everybody's trying to scratch and claw and get a bottle when it's available. And that is the L Extreme, excuse me, that is the Extreme version, Girl on Low Mighty L Extreme. I think this is better. Don't get me wrong, I like the Extreme version. I have the Extreme work version, I wear it, but this is the spiciest take of the DNA. And if you're into spices like me, that chili pepper element into this DNA is what the bella. That's what it is, man. And God, I've worn this a couple of times during this uh, fall and winter season, and this stuff just shines in the cold air, but I love that spicy effect to it. You get the uh, the cherry feel still in here as well, so it's intensified version, if you ask me, hence the name L Intense. So this is the second, my second favorite uh, from the line, but it does compete with the uh, EDP. And you've seen this, you've seen conversations about this, but to hype this, there's not a lot of hype because people go EDP or extreme first before they even think about the L Intense version. So this needs more hype, especially if you're in to spice your style fragrances. Look into this, don't sleep. And this one is more ready available than the EDP and the extreme. So there's a plus for you there if you're looking to see what's up with it. From the house of Guerlain, needs more hype. From the house of Guerlain, we have Lone Marial. L Intense, man. Love, I got an old, not, I don't have an old school bottle. This is after the black bottle. I want the all black bottle, but this is the one that I got, all right? Up next, you've seen this bottle as well. This house is very, very popular. This line is very, very popular, but this gets no conversation, just a little bit in the community. From the house of Gucci, we have Gucci Guilty, the EDP. Gucci Guilty, the EDP. Some people have called this a weird fragrance and I can see why, <laughs> okay? Beautiful, beautiful rolls in here. A fresh rose, a spicy rose. There's a balsamic vinegar um, effect to this fragrance as well, and that's what's doing it. That balsamic nature, that vinegar with the rose is something that is not, you don't get it a lot. Matter of fact, do you ever get it? I don't know. But the spiciness in here as well, when it starts to take over, is really, really good. So rolls, vinegar, spices, you can see how that might be something that's not for everybody. But listen, all those out there that are looking for something different from the Gucci Guilty DNA, or just something different from the designer world in general, you might want to look into this one. And if you're a Rolls fan, you're cheating yourself if you don't get your nose on this. Now this is totally biased on my part, and I'm hyping this Keyword now, hyping this as I feel that it should, all right? So great perform as well. Works really good in the office setting, uh, in my opinion. It works great in the fall um, weather. And if you're dressed up, you know what I'm saying? If you really got something going on with your get up, a suit, or, you know, just a, you know, not casual, but, you know, if you're really just trying to really show off a bit, trying to put out that I'm him syndrome, this is something that could really match that energy, man. So I believe more conversation should be going on about this fragrance and hopefully, hopefully it picks up from the house of Gucci. We have Gucci Guilty, the EDP, the EDP. Get this thing in focus, all right? And last but not least, one of my favorite fragrances for the summertime, especially when it's brutally and unmercifully hot down here in Jacksonville, Florida. I've seen little conversation about this, and this has been out for quite some time, but the conversation should stay steady, in my opinion, because this is great for the hot weather. From the house of Molinard, all right, we have Fig. We have Fig. Now, of course, there's conversations about this. There's video reviews about this. Of course it is, but it ain't consistent. Y'all ain't talking about it all the time. <laughs> and in the summertime, this stuff is popping. You get the beautiful ripe fig in here 
Um, there's some black currant that gives off some tartness. There's some another some other citrus elements in here. There's some floral elements. There's a green, um, a, a, a green feel to this fragrance as well, accompanying with the greenness that the fig gives off. Fresh and clean, and it's a different feel when it comes to citrus. And in the summertime, florals. They got a little musk citrus that fig note is a unique note and if you get it right you get it right and molinar got it right so for the summertime when you hear the conversation of aqua di Gio profumo uh what is it profondo and and uh dior own cologne and those hot weather this should be in the conversation too because it does what those fragrances does but this one might be better than both might be we'll talk about that later Beautiful fig fragrance, I love it. It ain't gonna be for everybody for sure, but it deserves more conversation, especially when we start getting into those hotter, hotter summer months. From the house of Molinar, an excellent fig fragrance, love it. We have Fig. And Molinar is an affordable niche house, man. They have a lot to offer, so great price points. You can get a bottle of that for really no problem. Um, especially coming from the niche world. All right, so those are the seven fragrances in my collection that, I, that I believe deserve a little bit more hype than they have been given. Sure, there's been conversation about these. Sure, there's videos and all that, but think about it as a whole. When you talk high, you talk Dior Sauvage, Rosasi Hawass, Dior Own Parfum, Dior Own Intense, uh, Blue de Chanel. You talk about Creed Aventis. You talk about these fragrances that are just beyond hype, and rightfully so. But I think these seven are really good too, and they deserve some co more conversation than what they're getting. All right, so let me know down below in the comments, Milka family, what are some of your fragrances that you believe that should be more hype than what they are? Let me know down below in the comments. All right, so until next time, y'all be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. Y'all know what it is, man. Positive energy and positive vibes. And as always, slack it up, slack it down, slack it this thing all around. And remember, what you get out to this world is exactly what you are going to get back. Sp